Remember this problem tank? Well, it got worse before it got better. I'm going to take you on a uh, quick uh, visual of what it's doing now, and I'll tell you some more things that happened since the crash that I did the last video on. Stay tuned for that. All right, so here we are at the 28 gallon bio cube or 29, I forget what it is. As you can see, things are looking decent since the crash happened. I'm pretty sure that I haven't done a video since then, but if I have, forgive me. Um, things got better after the crash and then they got way worse. A bunch of stuff happened. I can't remember the exact order, but I'll just take you through everything. First thing that happened was the MP3 got jammed up with snails. Um, I came down one day after work and noticed that the flow wasn't like it usually is. And I saw it first in this big frog spawn. Started investigating and the, the unit back here for the MP10 was flashing and so it told me that it wasn't running. Uh, I took a look and there was some snails clogging it so I got that eradicated, taken care of and then we went back at it. A couple days go by and things were just not improving. As a matter of fact, they were looking worse. And I started investigating, took the temperature of the tank above 90 degrees. The corals were almost gone. The heater failed, so I got a new heater. It's about a three year old heater. Um, it's just super important to, and I'm guilty of not doing it, but it's super important to change out your heaters once a year. You just never know, even the best heaters out there can fail. You know, especially in a saltwater tank when they're getting bombarded with salt water day, day in and day out, stuff can just go wrong and, and that's unfortunately what happened here. But things have started to bounce back. Um, within the last few days, this frog spawn has become real full. Um, the torch is not bouncing back as I had hoped it would, but although you can see a few tentacles with uh, green spots at the bottom. The NEMS doing just fine, it always has. And then this hammer up here, it's, and I'm not even sure that that's a hammer, it's got more characteristics of like a torch. It's starting to bounce back too. And then this SPS coral and the mushrooms are really bouncing back lately. The, or not mushrooms, uh, trumpet corals. And then the mushrooms down here, they've always, they've withstood the whole test of time throughout this process, they haven't really, had any problems but um, there was one more thing that went wrong as well and I'm trying to remember what it was right now let's see the heater well first the pump failed which I did a video on that that's what caused the tank to crash oh <clears throat> skimmer my uh, Tunzi 9001 UC uh, that went bad um, quit working and so it wasn't skimming but uh, anyway, so those three things happened after the crash and caused more problems, but I think we're bouncing back now. Got a little bit of algae issues still going on as far as like hair algae there and cyano there, but we're slowly getting better and uh, we'll just continue to see how it goes. Other than that, uh, I don't have a whole lot to say. I'm just kind of letting this thing do its thing before I add anything more. I'll eventually add a few more corals slowly, and I want to get another fire fish in here, and then some a red shrimp, uh, or a fire shrimp, and a, a cleaner shrimp. I did with the heat problem. I did lose my, um, I think it's a Randall's goby, the red and white stripe one I had, and then the pistol shrimp, um, or at least the pistol shrimp has hit gone away and hid since then. I know they're pretty hardy. But at any rate, I'm gonna replace those as well at some point here, but we're just gonna take our time with this and, and get things back to where they should be. So that's really all I got on this tank. Um, make sure that you uh, you know subscribe if you're new to this channel. Um, I really appreciate all the subscribers. Comment below and let me know your thoughts, what you think I should add next as far as corals go. Um, nothing real high-end. Just looking for easy euphilia style softies, um, that type of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Um, any questions, let me know. And uh, until next time, stay tuned.